Yo, what is up guys? I am Insanin and I am so freaking stoked to show this to you right now. We got another best action scenes video, this time from volume one of Biomega. Prepare to experience Badass Incarnate as we follow Zoichi and Fuyu in their attempt to rescue Eon Green from the DRF as they raid MSCF7. This one's a doozy, so grab a beer if you got one. All right, let's get to it. Zoichi checks his ammo and slams in his magazine. Fuyu informs him of Eon Green's signature within Maximum Security Containment Facility 7. He grabs his folded axe and extends it with a swing. He's ready for battle and looks upon a scene of hundreds of drones surrounding his target area. Scanning the facility one last time, he begins his intrusion, first by reversing his bike to gain some ground, and after a single rev, he pushes it, heading straight towards the edge and flying over the opening with ease. The drones look back as Zoichi slices up bodies before even landing. The tires screech upon blood and guts as he continues on through the crowd. Heads start to fly as he begins decapitating and cutting off body parts left and right. He mercilessly carves a path for himself, leaving a trail of butchered drones in his tracks and hacking everyone in his way to pieces. He reaches the ramp to the compound and folds back his axe, securing it tightly behind him. He streamlines forward, picking up speed and closing in on MSCF-7. He scans the entrance and sees their counterattack weaponry when a single shot fires, closing in on his advancement. He veers right, dodging it with ease, leaving it to explode in the background when an additional volley of missiles is launched. But before they can hit their target, he starts firing back, making contact, and causing the missiles to fly off track and explode one another as he dodges around the ones that remain. The entrance approaches, and Fuyu says she'll get the gate. A pointed, cylindric weapon emerges near the front wheels and begins to charge, followed by a blast of energy aimed straight at the gate. It lands a direct hit, but isn't enough to penetrate. They fire again, as a second shot bursts from the bike attempting to finish the job. A second explosion erupts at the gate, and Zoichi lifts off the ramp, scaling an enormous gap between him and MSCF-7. He enters a cloud of smoke and busts through to the other side, landing unscathed and without losing speed. Making their way through the facility, they find the staff infected with the N5S virus and pass drone after drone. They find the elevator, already in use, and Fuyu says the public health service is using it to abandon the facility. Zoichi grows concerned and hurries to the elevator doors. He splits them open and looks down a seemingly endless shaft. Fuyu warns him of the distance to the bottom, and Zoichi starts his descent using a safety wire that extends the lower he goes down. He falls for a long time before finally seeing the bottom, and finishes with a smooth landing. He enters the next room over to find the staff being loaded onto a giant submarine-like vessel for escape. He wastes no time to start putting holes in every one of their skulls in rapid succession. Blood splatters as headshot after headshot lands almost simultaneously. He switches magazines in a flash and continues the onslaught, with Eon Green and the patrol inspector who kidnapped her finally in sight. The inspector looks back while Zoichi shouts at Eon to get down. She looks back in worry while Zoichi takes aim at the inspector and switches his gun's accelerator output to max. He fires while taking heavy recoil and the shot blasts a giant hole in the inspector's head. Blood and brains splatter as Eon takes cover when out of nowhere Zoichi experiences a force pushing him back. A mysterious woman wrapped in an unknown substance is behind it. The force creates a crater around him as Zoichi tries to hold his footing, but it's too much for him and he goes flying back. Eon looks on in dread. The mysterious woman orders the vessel hatch to be closed and it raises while lifeless bodies fall overboard. Zoichi tries to recover as it nears fully closed, but can only look on in defeat as the last thing he sees is Eon's head before disappearing behind the hatch. It finally shuts tight, and the vessel begins its departure. Out of nowhere, a hand springs from the water to grab hold of the dock's ledge. Zoichi prepares for the worst, as the inspector who was thought to be dead springs forth from the depths. Zoichi aims to fire, but his gun's energy is depleted from his last shot. A clicking noise comes from the inspector's direction. He twists a knob near his mouth, and we see a liquid of some kind being redirected most likely into the inspector himself. This causes a regeneration of flesh around where his head was blown apart, and a monstrous transformation starts to take place right before Zoichi's eyes. 
A violent vortex swirls around the inspector as the scene of horror is reflected in Zoichi's helmet. A terrifying new head is formed as Fuyu says this must be a product of their enemies unlocking the secrets of the drone cells. The inspector continues to transform and Zoichi extends his axe with a swing. He stands in front of its final form ready for combat when the inspector immediately lashes towards him. Zoichi winds up a strike and slashes through, severing the enemy's left arm. Tentacle-like appendages shoot from the womb and bombard Zoichi. While busy blocking, the inspector follows with a heavy arm strike to Zoichi's abdomen that sends him flying back into a crate with enough force to blast him through to the other side. Zoichi tumbles around and loses his axe in the process. The inspector bursts through the crate charging towards his foe when Zoichi suddenly cocks back his arm to charge up. He lets loose a devastating blow with his fist in the enemy's midsection, smashing a hole clean through and knocking the inspector off his feet. He lands a mangled and bloodied mess as Oichi pins him down with his foot. Down comes a swing of his axe that sends the inspector's head flying. Zoichi stands victorious when suddenly the entire facility starts to rumble. He looks around in confusion, and Fuyu says it sounds like a rocket engine in pre-launch. Signs of life come from the inspector's head. He informs them that they have already secured an adequate supply of accommodators, and that the plan is to purge the old race and move on to the next stage of the human species general conversion plan. Zoichi responds, looking for clarification, but the inspector simply says that there is nothing Toha Heavy Industry can do, and flashes a maniacal smile back at him. With a sudden twitch and expansion of his eye, the inspector's head blows up once and for all. Fuyu locates the source of the tremors and tells Zoichi that the missile silos are responsible. She says they're built into all MSCF facilities on the island. Zoichi can't take a hint, and Fuyu explains that the enemy is about to launch 13 intercontinental ballistic missiles aimed at population centers around the world, as well as all of Toha Heavy Industries' sealed shelters on the mainland. She thinks the Data Recovery Foundation is attempting to create a world populated only by accommodators. The realization causes Zoichi to temporarily suspend his pursuit of Eon, and they immediately head back up the elevator. He pulls out a portable railgun and unfolds it as Fuyu says he can increase his rate of fire by cycling the power unit to assist. The hatch at the top opens, and they arrive on the facility roof to sirens going off. A blast is felt, and the launch process begins. They're surrounded by a terrifying scene of ballistic missiles heading up into the sky, and Zoichi prepares to attack with a fully extended railgun. The missiles fly higher and higher. Certain annihilation awaits wherever they should land. Zoichi looks up and targets one in the middle of the cluster as they break through the clouds above. Finally locked on, Zoichi pulls the trigger, and a single shot leaves his barrel. The shockwave from the railgun blast is intense and massive. It blows back everything around it and the effects are seen farther than the island itself. The shot soars up into the sky, quickly reaching the altitude of the missiles and blasts through the warhead of its target. An explosion of epic proportions goes off in the atmosphere. The blast takes out four other missiles, leaving eight that remain. Zoichi prepares to follow through with rapid fire. The power unit from the bike lends its assistance as shockwave after shockwave from railgun fire is seen and the entire sky fills with explosions. Fuyu scans the situation and informs Zoichi that the last one is beginning its re-entry. He sets aim and fires one last shot. It strikes its target, and a beautiful scene of the aftermath is shown looking down on the planet. Zoichi looks up to the sky as the chaos finally begins to settle. He's done his job, and the world is safe for now. But the look in his eyes says the worst is yet to come. Holy shit, that was epic. I'm not going to lie. Volume 1 of Biomega is one of my favorite individual volumes ever. And I love reading that action scene it ends with every single time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Subscribe for more. Stay Toha Heavy Tough. I'll see you next time. Peace.